Trigonometric Equations Part 1 Let's have a look at one. Straightforward, solve for theta correct to one decimal place, sine theta equals 0, 381. So, on the calculator, theta would equal sine minus to the sine to the minus one of 0, 381, which will give us 22, 3956, etc. degrees. And that becomes 22,4 degrees, one decimal place. We don't have to write this. We really do not. In fact, it's better not to write it. So we can go straight from that one to here. But, have a look here. Sine of 157,6 equals 0,381. We have only that. Why is that? Aha. Have a look. Here's the second quadrant equivalent of 22,4 degrees, 157 degrees. So, in fact, we should have considered the second quadrant as well, where sine is also positive. So, let's now consider this one. Solve for theta, correct to one decimal place, sine theta equals 0, 0,381, and theta is between 0 and 365 degrees. So, step one, set it up. And you're going to hear me saying set it up quite often for the correct quadrants, this being where sine is positive. So, what I do is I say theta equals and 180 minus. And I write that down before I even touch my calculator to go any further. Now I can use my calculator to find the key angle by doing my sine to the negative 1 of 0, 381. There we are. Slot my answers in to my setup. And there are my answers. Consider another one now. Step 1. Set it up. And tan is negative. So we say, where's tan negative? Second and fourth. So we're going to write 180 minus and 360 minus for quadrant one, quadrant four. Now we use the calculator to find the key angle. Now please note, we've used the negative to tell us quadrant two and quadrant four. We do not enter the negative on the calculator. We will go tan minus 1 or 1, 1,357. That's quite important because the calculator will also make quadrant adjustments, but only give you one answer. It will make quadrant adjustments for the negative. So we do that to find the key angle, which is 53.6. A slot in 53.6, 53.6. And there are my two answers. Right, here we are. Sine of theta negative 0, 0,612. So you try to pause as you go. Here we are. Set it up. Notice I've done that before I even look at the calculator. Now, of course, the important thing, find the key angle, do not enter the negative. Here we are. Another one. Tan theta equals positive 0, 0,871. Step one, set it up. Where is tan positive? First and third. So I go gap and 180 plus gap. I'm going to find the key angle. And 41.1 was the key angle. So I slotted into my gaps I left. And there are my answers. Another one. 
Step 1. Set it up. We say, where is cos negative? Ah. Second and third. There we are. So 180 minus for second, 180 plus for third. Now I'm going to find the key angle. Once again, the warning, do not enter the negative because we've used the negative to tell us this. We just want the key angle now. There we are. And there's our answer. Some more to try. Pause and try them and the answers will follow. Right, here are the answers. Briefly look, sine positive, first and second quadrants. Cos positive, first and fourth quadrants. Cos negative, second and third quadrants. Tan positive, first and third. Sine negative, second and third and fourth. Tan negative, second and fourth. In every case, remember, do not enter the negative to get the key angle. If you'd enter tan minus 1 of negative 0.674, it would not have given you 47.6. Now, in these cases, we've just taken it a step further. If you have a look here, I need to solve for sine, but there's a 2 there. So I'm going to have to divide by the 2 first. Now, the important rule here is that you always set it up as soon as you are finally getting rid of the trig ratio. So, if you look here, I've divided by the 2 first to give me that answer. Now, I set it up and I say, where is sine positive? Blank, 180 minus blank. Find the key angle and I'll slot it in. This one. I'm going to move the one across the other side first there. Cos negative in the second and third. Use that to give us the key angle, not using the negative, And there's the answer. Tan theta over 2. I need to multiply up by the 2 first. Now tan theta is positive first and third quadrants. This one here, I need to solve for sine of theta. So, notice what I do is I've moved the sine to that side and the 0 0.765 to that side. It's just easier that way around, then there's no confusion. And that becomes 0 0.235. Quadrant, first and second, key angle 13.6, 13.6, and there are answers. Cos squared theta equals 0.576. Now I remind you that when you have something squared, when you're solving for a square, you need to introduce the plus or minus, unless there are reasons not to. So therefore I say cos squared that. Cos theta is plus or minus the square root of 0.576, which gives me two possible answers. I've gone slightly further so as not to have problems with the approximations. The rounding off. Now, for the positive, 40.6 and 360 minus, and for the negative, 180 minus 180 plus. I've just gone in order because plus or minus means all four quadrants. First, second, third, fourth. This case. Now, be very careful. There seems to be a common error that people want to get rid of the half first. Yet that one is adding. So the one must subtract first, then you get rid of the half. So the one subtracts first, and then I multiply through by two to get rid of the half. We end up with negative 3.174. Where's tan negative? Second quadrant and fourth quadrant. Number seven might confuse some people, but all you need to do is find that on your calculator. Then you have a value for tan, and you continue. Have a look. There is sine of 125, 3. 
Now I just say tan equals a positive value, first, third, and we solve. Same thing here. I use my calculator to find 1 minus sine squared of 81 degrees. There it is there. Cos positive, first, fourth. Find the key angle, slot it in, solve. Once again here, I'm going to use the calculator. Enter that in the calculator to give me an answer, which is negative 0.3922. Now we say, well, where's sine negative? Third quadrant, fourth quadrant. We don't enter the negative. We say sine minus 1 of 0.3922, and it gives us 23,1, which we slot in there, and there is our final answer.